Hi, my Virgos. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your July 2017 general tarot card reading for um, Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me or go on my website at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Um, my readings are $25, $50, and $75. I do your readings within 24 to 72 hours after payment is received. I do not have PayPal. There is no PayPal. So if you make a payment to PayPal, I won't receive it. That'll be on you. Please do not send any payments to PayPal. I have a website with a checkout. Um, I also have a new feature where you can get a same day reading. It's a little pricier, but you do get it the same day. I have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. I also have um, tarot card classes available. I've got kits that I can ship out to you for love, money, and protection. Um, the kits include a soap, a candle, a liquid cleanse. You can use half as a floor wash and half as a three-day bath. Um, I ship out on Mondays, you receive on Wednesdays. What else? I've got spells for love, money, and protection. Everything's on the website. All right, my Virgo. So here's what we got. July 2017, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. First card out, the devil. Then you've got the ten of swords. You've got the three of cups. You've got the ten of wands. You've got the page of cups. You've got the hanged man, the emperor, the star card, the justice card, and then the six of wands. So here's what we got going on. Okay, so with the devil and then the ten of uh, the ten of swords, watch your drinking, dr drinking and driving, um, drugging, overdosing, people around you doing this. If this is not you, this could be people around you. We got the three of cups. That's typically a celebration. So watch a celebration. Get a designated driver. You know, set set something up so that this stuff doesn't happen. You know, guys, we everybody just be responsible, please. Okay, also, some of you are um, are done with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. It's over and done with. You're not doing this anymore. Oh, are you having fun? We got a little mini bounce house in the back. Oh, um, so, yeah, so you may be done with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but somebody's going to call you from your past, a water sign from your past. We got the hanged man here. You already know that they're calling you. Um, I feel like some of you are feeling their energy around you, so you already know that they're going to contact you. This is the Divination and Prophecy card. Yes? Oh, he did a good job. He went down the slide. Oh, yeah. Okay, with the emperor here, some of you in Aries is coming in. Um, some of you have to choose between an Aries and an Aquarius. Um, it's a situation that um, that I feel like for most of you, the Aries and the Aquarius, I feel like it's, it's going to be a good thing, but I feel like maybe both of these people did you wrong. Oh, they did you wrong, but I feel like for the most part, there's going to be justice. They're going to come back around and try to get back together with you. Justice will be served. Also, um, if, if some of you were, were accused of, a, of robbery and theft, um, you will be going to court. And I feel like for you, it'll be victorious. Or if it's a, if, okay, for you, Virgo, it would be victorious. But if you're going up against a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, you will not be victorious in the court case for July 2017. Okay. Also, some of you were dealing with a Capricorn. This Capricorn stabbed you in the back 10 months ago, 10 weeks ago, 10 years ago, or something that has to do with a 10, maybe 10 times. It's saying that this person wants to get back together with you. They're going to try to lie and say that they're better now. They're not. Um, this person may travel for work. Okay, with the hanged man here, some of you are, don't quite know what to do as far as your... Um, as far as your career goes, some of you are at a standstill. Um, some of you just aren't making money in the field that you've been making money in or you haven't for a year or two. Um, be careful of karmic debts. Um, some of you I, uh, some of you do have karmic debts that you're paying off. So if something is at a standstill, um, I don't say quit that job, but um, understand you're going through a karmic path and whatever you were doing before, try to like really dig deep. This is not for all of you. This is for some of you. Every Zodiac, everybody has karmic debt. There's nobody that doesn't, so don't take it personally. If you don't have karmic debt, that means you're dead. So if you're watching this, you're probably still breathing. So that means you have karmic debt. We all do. Um, we all get karmic. It's, there's different ways to to uh, to have karmic debt. Our karmic debt could come, could have come from 10 past lives ago. We're just paying it back. So nobody get your panties into a bunch. Okay, so some of you that are working at a job where you used to make a lot of money, probably a lot of cash, all of a sudden nothing's changed except for you can't make a dollar or you're barely making any money or everything you touch turns to dust now. Um, it's karmic debt. You, you just have to pay it back. So depending on whether you change or whether or not the universe feels like you paid it back, that's how long it's going to take before things can start flowing again financially.
This is just for some of you. Some of you are, are at a standstill. You can, you know it. I mean, if those of you that are not, congratulations. That's really great. But for those that are at a standstill, that's who I'm talking to. You know who you are. Things are just at a standstill. They're not moving. Nothing's flowing. You, nothing you do goes right. Um, you work eight hours a day, yet you don't have any money. Um, yeah, that's karmic debt. Don't worry. Justice scales, you may end up uh, paying back the karmic debt this month, the month of July. So maybe by August, everything will be smooth as long as you're not falling back into old negative patterns. Um, not only this, but, um, but I feel like for some of you um, with the star card here, um, I feel like uh, for some of you, you you may have tried to derail somebody, and that's where this karmic debt is coming from, um, or somebody has a protection spell on them, so everything you try to send, it goes right back to you, um, or this is this is you that has the protection spell, and, and everything that somebody does to you goes right back to them. This is vice versa. This, this is either you or somebody involved with you. Um, also... We've got the six of, we got justice and then the six of wands right after that. So if this is karmic debt, usually sixes are karma um, or karmically related. So it shows justice and then it shows the six of wands. So that's typically saying for the most part, if those of you that were at a standstill, it will be paid back in July. So by August, you can probably exactly at midnight, August 1st, for some of you, all of a sudden your phone's going to ring and somebody's like, hey, do you want some money? Or hey, I got a great idea for you. Just take it because also what happens is after people pay back their karmic debt, they're so used to the drama of the karma having to pay it back that when the good things start flowing, they get kind of scared. Like, are you kidding? Is this a joke? Well, is this, is this a, uh, a setup? No, <laughs> just, just take what's being offered guys. You're, you're about to pay back your karmic debt. So you're cool. This is for those of you that are paying it back. Typically they, they typically it goes like a whole entire, um, entire uh zodiac sign like you know pisces had to pay it back virgo had to you know virgo's paying it back you know leo had to pay it back it, it usually goes you know a few usually three at a time where they're all paying it back and then all of a sudden you know a certain zodiac sign pulls out of that negativity so just i feel like you're you're next like all the stagnation that's been going on i feel like it's, it's about to be over so that's a positive thing okay now with the water sign thing, some of you will be getting back together with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorp Scorpio. Some of you will not. Some of you have a lot of baggage that you need to clear. Some of you have emotional baggage, mental baggage. It's got to go. you got to clean it up. Also, some of you are, um, are uh, you've got blockages, um, whether it's financial, mental, emotionally. It's saying that this would be a great month, July 2017, to clear this. Do some Reiki videos, do some meditations. Whatever you need to do, be careful with the um, with the uh, chakra meditations because what they do is they um, is they open spiritual gifts. As your vibrations are being raised, you may uh, begin to have panic attacks, shortness of breath, feel like you're having a heart attack. So if this is not something that you know you want to go through right now, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You can do a few Reiki videos to clear some emotional or mental blocks, but as far as the chakra clearing meditations, that brings on psychic abilities. So unless you really want to see things flying around, don't do it. All right, my Virgos, have an amazing July 2017. Ta-ta for now.